at Optavia, our mission is to offer the world lifelong transformation one healthy habit at a time. The following audio contains the personal testimonials of independent coaches and clients within the Optavia community. Their results are based on the unique experiences of their journey. We cannot guarantee like or similar outcomes. We hope these stories inspire you to continue your journey with or join Optavia, but please note they have not been verified and your individual journey to optimal health will vary. As always, it is our recommendation that you speak with a healthcare provider in the U.S. or a doctor in Singapore and Hong Kong prior to beginning your journey with Optavia. Additionally, this audio may contain income or earning representations of some independent Optavia coaches. We cannot guarantee financial success. Success with Optavia is derived from successful sales efforts, which required hard work, diligence, skill, persistence, competence, and leadership. Optavia acknowledges that this audio may be accessible to Optavia coaches in the U.S., Hong Kong, and Singapore. For independent Optavia coaches operating in the U.S., please see the Optavia Income Disclosure Statement for statistics on actual earnings of U.S. coaches under the U.S. Compensation Plan. Please note that the Income Disclosure Statement only applies to independent Optavia coaches operating in the U.S. under the U.S. Compensation Plan and does not in any way constitute any representations as to actual or potential accrual of benefits for Hong Kong or Singapore coaches under the International Compensation Plan. Yours in Health, the Optavia team. We're going to clip right along here. Come on in. Oh, I'm seeing everybody hopping in. I love it. Welcome, welcome. My name is Jan Paxman, and I am an independent certified Optavia coach, and I'm so excited to be here tonight. And I'd love while you're pouring in to put something, if you could put something in the chat that you love about the fall season. It's my favorite time of year. I was so excited when I was asked to share tonight because this is my, this is my season that I was born in, and I have, I, I have all kinds of good feelings around this season. So you guys share what your favorite parts of fall are as well. I love it. I'd love you to put a hashtag candle if you just may be burning a cinnamon spice pumpkin candle tonight. <laughs> I got it all going on here. Awesome. Let me just take a moment, introduce myself a little bit better. Um, like I mentioned, my name is Jan Paxman and I love being part of Optavia. Um, to the right of me, you can see a picture of my family. This is a little bit older picture, um, but, I, but I put it in here because it's taken in the fall. And if your family is anything like my family, we love family pictures. <laughs> it's a little tricky to get us all together. We have eight children, and now as of this last summer, we have nine grandchildren. So you can see this picture is a little bit outdated, but I loved, I loved it because it shows all about us. Um, we have a little farm um, that we were able to have because of Optavia. Um, we've got our, our horses there, our family there, and one daughter that wasn't able to be in the picture, um, she's pictured to the right. She um, came into the program, lost 40 pounds, and became a health coach. So I wanted to show her pictures there as well. All right, so we'd like to know a little bit more about you as well. Um, we're going to throw a poll up if you could just answer uh, which answer best describes you. Are you a U.S. independent Optavia coach, a U.S. Optavia client, a Hong Kong Singapore independent Optavia coach, Hong Kong Singapore Optavia client, or a guest tonight? We are so excited that you're here. And we're going to have just a great time. So snuggle up, get your favorite blankie, and here we go. So um, in talking about fall, I would like to tell you something that has changed my life. And if you want to fall in love with optimal health, you will want to embrace this system, the Habits of Health Transformation System. Um, I'm a registered nurse, and before coming into Optavia, I thought I knew a lot about food science, nutrition, and how to fuel my body and how to stay healthy. But what I found was I was missing some very key important parts to my understanding. And when I came into this program and read Dr. Anderson's um, Habits of Health System, it connected all the dots for me. And honestly, I felt like I had cracked the code. I fell in love with my optimal health. And this system is there for us, each one of us to embrace, if we will, 
to be able to experience that same thing. So we have our life book, the Habits of Health app, and Dr. A's Habits of Health book. And these three things used together are a win-win-win situation. Um, as we go through tonight, we want to talk about three things, basically. We want to always have in mind um, our goals for what we want to accomplish. And, and that mindset is realizing the power and importance of self-awareness. Now, when we go through any change, like changing of seasons, um, sometimes it's a little scary. You know, you're used to a certain rhythm and things are going along really well and then things change. And so things like, you know, with the changing season of fall, the days get shorter and dark, it gets dark earlier. Um, there's some challenges with um, it getting cooler and we maybe aren't moving as much as we were before because we can't get outside to move. And then of course you've got the holidays coming up. So there's always something to learn. So we're gonna get into a great mindset here. And then we're also gonna go into our skills to learn simple tips to help us really embrace fall and have a wonderful experience. And then we're gonna really get clear on using stop, challenge, and choose as an action step so that we can make healthy choices. So let's move right on in here, talking about Dr. A, who is the author of the Habits of Health System. He has changed my life in so many positive ways. Um, I love this quote. If we go back to our hierarchy of choices, then we are making secondary decisions because they support what is most important to us, which is optimal health and well-being. So you're giving your body a gift of health rather than a restriction of instant pleasure. And when I read that, um, I, it just really made me stop and think. Instant pleasure usually gets us into trouble, right? Any kind of knee-jerk reaction or re reaction is the key word there. We're not responding, we're reacting. And so when you put yourself in position to embrace your optimal health and well-being through stop, challenge, and choose, you're giving your body the gift of health rather than a restriction of instant pleasure. I love that. So let's go back to element four, just for a second. We're talking about the different parts of our brain. So the amygdala or our lizard brain, um, the one that if we're actually on page 116 in the book, if you've got your books out right here, the lizard brain works automatically. It's the one where if you see a bear, you run, like you're out of there. Right, but sometimes it reacts in such a way that doesn't serve us, especially when we're dealing with emotions and food. Um, that can get us into a little bit of trouble. And then there's the Labrador brain. That brain is just, you know, having fun and um, it works on emotion. So we want to make sure we're aware of what part of our brain is working for us or against us. And the other part is um, the the human brain, we have the ability to think through things and use our frontal cortex and make a better choice. So if we're using the word fall here, the lizard brain makes us fall back or fall behind. The Labrador brain will fall for anything, right? And the human brain helps us fall in love with our optimal health, or in other words, fall forward, always moving forward, always, always optimizing, always learning. So let's talk more about this. So as we go through this section, um, it's illustrated here that there's a stimulus and then there's a response. And I love this quote by Viktor Frankl. This man wrote a book called Man's Search for Meaning and he was a survivor of the Holocaust in Germany. How many of you guys have read this book? If you haven't, it's an amazing book. Um, but this is a quote from that book. Between stimulus and response, there is a space. In that space is our power to choose our response. And in our response lies our growth and our freedom. Now that is powerful, powerful information. We have that ability as humans to think through our responses. And, um, and I, as I bring up the next slide, it's illustrated so nicely that Dr. A's stop, challenge, and choose fits right in that space between stimulus and response. And if we could you know, think about it, we all 
you know, who is responsible for our well being? Sometimes we get caught up in, you know, thinking we're a victim of our circumstances or life is happening to us and not for us, and we don't take responsibility, right? Well, I would like to break down that word responsibility, cut it in half, and it's response ability. It gives us the ability to respond when we take responsibility. It makes us response able. I just love that illustration because it really breaks it down to where we can use stop, challenge, and choose to create that response that will serve us going forward. So I love that. So as we go through, as we go through the fall, there's a few things that might be coming up that could cause us a little bit of a challenge. But you know, whenever there's a challenge, it's not an, it's an obstacle maybe, but it's also an opportunity. So as we talked about some of those things, which are the areas that you would like to focus most on during this fall? So select all that apply. Are you going to work on adjusting to the shorter days, getting back into the routine with school? I mean, school is um, right now a little bit tricky because so many of us are homeschooling our kids. Um, due to the circumstances with COVID, that can be a challenge. How about staying active if we're not you know, able to get out and go for that bike ride or go for that walk outside? Are we gonna be able to stay active? How about making healthy decisions during the holidays? Which of those following areas do you want to uh, really focus on and work on? So go ahead and answer that poll and we'll bring up those, um, those uh, responses here in just a moment. But let's move on to our first guest, which I'm so excited. This is Candy Bound. She is one of my dearest friends that I did not know prior to my being a coach with Octavia. She was the first person who decided to partner with me as a coach, and she's been with me for 10 years, and I love her. She's an amazing human being, and I can't wait for her to share her story. Candy, are you there? I sure am, Jan. Can you hear me okay? Yes, I can. Great. Jan, thanks so much for having me be here with you. It's so good to be with all of you who I consider my family. One of my favorite parts of Octavia is the feeling of community, the feeling of being part of the family and knowing that I'm not alone in this journey to create a better version of myself. So a little bit about me. My husband and I have been married for 37 years and have three amazing kids. And because of them, we have seven grandkids who are my heart and why I continue to strive each day. And I have stressed and worried about my weight my whole entire life. And not because I necessarily was overweight when I was younger, but because I saw firsthand the effects of weight on, my, on your health and the quality of life with my mom and grandma. And I knew that most of the medical problems that they were having was due to being overweight and living a sedentary lifestyle. Now, I never had a healthy mom, and my kids never had a healthy grandma. They couldn't do things with her, and she couldn't babysit, and I knew I did not want that. So early on, I tried to do everything that I could to just keep the weight down, and I actually did a pretty good job of it until I turned 40. I don't know what that magical number means, but when I turned 40, it seemed like everything headed south, literally. Fast forward to when I found Jan in this program and I finally felt like I had the tools I needed to stay away from diets. I was able to create those habits I needed to transform not only my body to lose those pesky 25 pounds, but more importantly, to transform my mindset. I loved how this program works on the whole person. It truly is a comprehensive program. Now I have a life that I feel I can keep up with those beautiful little people. I can play on the playground, we go hiking, and I babysit every chance I get. Now we live in Utah and we have four seasons and my favorite is our beautiful fall. I love everything about fall. The changing of leaves, the smell, the cozy sweaters, sitting by the fire, hiking in the beautiful neighbor in the beautiful mountains that I call my backyard. 
I also love working in the yard, pruning and raking up the leaves and racking up those neat points that Dr. A talks about in Element 17. Now fall is that time when everybody turns their attention to what they're grateful for. Even in these really difficult times that we're living in right now, there's a lot of negativity, a lot of fear of the unknown. But I swore I would never let my life be driven by fear. There are so many things in this world that we can't control, but one thing we can control to a large extent is our health. My goal has always been to do whatever I could to prevent disease and to have a full and vibrant life. Do you realize the tremendous gift we have in this program? If you guys understand that gift, put a one in the chat. Now, with this wonderful season, we also have our challenges because it comes with a lot of overeating, a lot of sugar. Tell me, is that not right? So, Halloween's coming next week. What can we do to stay away from all of that? I want to know if anybody has ever had this problem Two weeks before Halloween comes, you go to Costco and you get this huge bag of candy. The night before Halloween, you have to go back to Costco to get another one because the half of the first bag is already gone. Now, I know I'm not the only one that has done that in the past. I know it. Put a three in the chat if you have ever done that. Now, a couple suggestions on how to get through next week. One thing, if you are going to buy candy, buy candy you do not like and don't buy it till the very last minute. Better yet, buy things that are not treat driven. Slap bracelets or party toys or bubbles or stickers, kids love them. Now, one last thing, I have another passion and that is my job as an audiologist. I have worked with deaf children and their, and their families for over 31 years. And I am so grateful for Optavia for helping me have a health, and energy to be able to go on hearing missions with my daughter, who's also an audiologist. And we work with deaf children. And I'm so grateful. I'm so, I'm sorry, I'm grateful for Optavia for recognizing the need to provide this program for those who can't hear. It's great to be able to welcome the deaf community into our family. And we're happy that you've all joined us. Jan, thanks for letting me share my story with you all. Oh, wonderful, Candy. Thank you so much. Yes, we love our deaf community family. Oh, it's so great. Thank you. You, I love those tips for Halloween. I think that's fantastic. And um, I'm so looking forward to next week feeling confident in the choices that I'm making. Um, and and uh, we'll go ahead and slip right on through here and your pictures of your family are beautiful. Okay, so let's go for some more tips. Oh, there's the poll results. Awesome. Okay, it looks like 25% of us are working on adjusting to the shorter days. Okay, 5% um, aren't too upset. They're just, they're adjusting to school routine. So there's not a whole lot of us that are struggling with that. Staying active is a big one, 53%. And then making healthy decisions during the holidays, 75% of us are concerned about that and rightfully so. It's something that we want to be really focused on. Okay, so let's talk about, let's talk about some more fall uh, tips here. Get some sun. So we all know that sun is so important for us. It helps boost our mood. It's good for us. Vitamin D is a really good immune booster um, also. So if you're not able to get sun, um, try to get outside every day and get some, but sometimes you just need to supplement with vitamin D or maybe even get one of those little happy lights that help you get some, some light. Um, I know a lot of us just, uh, just tr have a struggle with um, seasonal depression sometimes. And um, so that's important. Also preparing for flu season, I think this year, <laughs> Since we're all wearing masks most of the time outside, that is um, going to help. And also hand sanitizer. Um, and make sure you're getting plenty of sleep and maybe boost some vitamins um, if you're not currently using them. But sleep, I think, is the number one thing. If you're getting enough sleep, your body has the ability to fight off of viruses and flus and colds. Um, so please be careful with your sleep. Practicing healthy motion, try to get out and move. If you can't get outside where you live, 
um, then go to the gym and try to get some um, exercise there if your gyms are open. Or um, maybe go to your website in your area and look for something to exercise on at home. I got a wonderful treadmill years ago for $75. And it was like, it was a beater that somebody was ready to just chuck and I've used it for like four years and it works like a dream. So figure out a way to get healthy motion and take time for yourself. It's really important as we go through these seasons, they get so busy and there's a lot going on, but if you'll take time, maybe it's like journaling, um, spending time with yourself, reading each night or something, just block it off, whatever you do, take time and block it off, schedule it or it probably will not happen. Um, here's some fun outdoor activities for fall. Um, pumpkin picking. That's so much fun to go to a pumpkin patch and take the family out and go find you some pumpkins. Or going hiking. Candy mentioned that. I love that. So beautiful out. You can see the colors if you live in an area where there are colors in the fall. But um, also, you know, pack a, a healthy picnic and take it up there with you. So fun. And corn mazes are actually good for our brains. They help us figure out, you know, how to get in and how to get out of there. Um, and they're so fun to do with your family. And raking leaves is my favorite. Seriously, we love to rake them. We love to do the Charlie Brown thing and jump in them with suckers. Like, it's just so much fun. And I'll tell you the key for raking leaves that make them even more fun is to rake somebody else's leaves. Do that on the sly, rake someone else's leaves, and that is so awesome. Okay, so I'm so excited to introduce this next guest. She is coming all the way from Texas, and Heather Brenner, she is one of the coaches that we're so privileged to work with. Heather, will you come on and share your story, please? Absolutely. <clears throat> Hello, everyone. I am Heather Brenner, and I am an independent certified Optavia coach. I, uh, just a little bit about me, I've been married to my high school sweetheart coming up on 25 years next summer. We have an adult daughter who's 22 and just got married this last summer. And um, I have a 20 year old son and then we have what we call our bonus baby and he is now eight years old. So super, uh, super fun and he keeps me young. <clears throat> so I am a coach, but before I was a coach, I was a client and I'm still a client. And uh, my journey started back in July of 2018. I was tired, frustrated, overwhelmed, self-conscious, and just completely over it. I was a chronic dieter my whole life. I would always say that I could lose 30 pounds, but I would find 40. And that would just happen over and over and over. And I felt completely defeated. Um, at the time, my bonus baby was six years old, and I just remember feeling like he deserved better. <laughs> he deserved a mom who could help him learn how to ride a bike and keep up with him, a mom that could walk around the block with him without, you know, needing to, to turn around early, and that really convicted me. So I was introduced to Optavia in summer of 2018, and I jumped in because that's what I did. I was a dieter. So I jumped in and I treated it like a diet. I was able to lose 60 pounds and I felt amazing. I felt absolutely amazing. Took off 60 pounds, um, but guess what happened? <laughs> Last fall of all times, um, I started to see a trend where my um, old habits were kind of sneaking back in. And with those old habits were some new pounds. And I got a little bit nervous. I got freaked out, if I'm being honest, because I just thought, you know what, I can't do this again. I've done this over and over my entire life, and I cannot do it again. And so I quickly realized, with the help of my amazing health coach, that the reason that this was happening was because I had treated it like a diet. I had done only one component <laughs> of Optavia. And so I decided, I made a choice last fall to draw a line in the sand and say no more. That wasn't going to happen again. That wasn't going to be my story. And so I really linked arms with my health coach, which I had kind of kept her at arm's length up until that point. Um, I really dove into the community. And you guys, I jumped into the life book. And if y'all are not in the life book, you're missing it. The life book changed my life. And I know that sounds dramatic to some people. Maybe if you're not in the life book, that sounds dramatic, but it is not. It absolutely changed my life. After grabbing hold of the other three components, I felt 
this overwhelming victory in my life because not only did I take off those extra pounds that I had put on um, leading up to that time, but I actually um, have taken off a few more. So now I'm down 70 pounds, feeling incredible. And I, you know, we always talk about what we lost, but more important to me is what I gained. I gained a ton of energy, I gained confidence, I gained control, like real control over my health and a connection with my family and my community like I had never experienced before. And it all started with a choice. So we talk about choices and everything that Jan shared earlier just really resonates with me because I truly believe that the most powerful and spiritual thing that we can do as human beings is to choose. Nobody can choose for us. We can choose our response to to negativity. We can choose our response to circumstances. And there's tons of circumstances right now and tons of negativity right now. But nobody gets to make the choice on how I'm going to respond to those things other than me. And you know what? That's empowering. I feel so empowered. Tell me, put a, put a one in the chat if you feel empowered by that. Because we get to choose, you guys. That's the one thing no one else can do for us. So I hope that that helps. I hope that that encourages you that you are empowered to make those choices. And I just wanna leave you with three quick tips for fall because I too love fall. I'm actually a California girl and moved to Alabama actually uh, about a year and a half ago. And so this is just now my second fall because California doesn't really get fall. So I am loving it. And now fall really has a special place in my heart because it was the season in which I made that change and made that choice that changed my life. So um, with that, I'll share my quick three tips. We all know that the holidays are coming, right? That's not gonna be a surprise. So let's be prepared. Let's make a plan on how to handle the holidays, okay? The first one, my first tip would be to make some new traditions with your family that don't revolve around food. Find a new game or a new craft, something that you can do together to make new memories. The second one, and maybe my favorite one, is that remember when grandma shows up with your favorite dish, for me, it was always pumpkin something. Um, when grandma shows up with your favorite dish to that holiday, just remember that you've tasted it before. You can taste it again in the future if you choose to, but you don't have to taste it right now if it's not serving your goals, okay? I promise that nothing tastes as good as optimal health feels. And then the last one would be try some new recipes. Get on Pinterest, find some great lean and green recipes. They're not only gonna serve you for the holidays, but they'll serve you for a lifetime. And again, just remember that it's about people and relationships and memories. That's what's important this holiday season. So I just wanna thank you all. I am humbled and honored to be here to share with you tonight. And I hope that you all have a wonderful evening. Thank you, Jan. Thank you so much. Oh my goodness, that was beautiful. Heather, you did such a fantastic job. I love that. Um, she gave so many great tips, you guys. Doesn't that give you so many things to be thinking about when you have your families there with you and you're going through the holiday season? There is a way, absolutely a way, that we can get through the holidays and be able to succeed using those great choices and being able to move forward with our health and still have a lot of fun. There's nothing that, um, that we can't do when we have each other and we have Optavia and we have the ability to make those fantastic choices. So we're gonna go ahead and just move to the next slide here. Kind of lost my spot, not gonna lie. Okay, here we go. Okay, wonderful. So let me, oops. Gotta share my screen again. Hold on one second. Thanks for the grace, guys. You're wonderful. I'm sure this has never happened to anyone else. All right. There we go. Woo! All right. So first of all, our action steps we're going to do, we're going to stop, we're going to pause and take a deep breath, and we're going to challenge and ask ourselves when we're in those moments, what do I really want long term? And we're going to choose. We're going to make the choice that support that supports what we really want long term. We're going to use our human brain, our frontal cortex, and we are going to um, we're going to get through this uh, season. Not just get through it, but thrive 
through it, right? That's what we're gonna do. And I'm so excited for all of us. If you could please just take a moment and, um, and put down how you enjoyed our community time tonight. If you felt it was excellent or very good or good or below average or poor, I know I felt it was incredibly valuable based on what we learned from Candy and from Heather. And I want them both to know how much I love and appreciate them. They did such a fantastic job tonight. So thank you both. And thanks to all of you for being here with us. And um, I just want to uh, remind you all that we have a, the amazing opportunity to listen to these Habits of Health community times over and over and over again. That information in our brains more often just helps solidify these things that we are learning and change the neural pathways in our brain. And you can access this through our podcast um, app or you can also go to YouTube and go to the Optavia channel and subscribe. And be sure that you're um, actually opting into the reminder texts also so that you can always remember when we're having these community times. If you can, um, just text the word Optavia and the number 30 to 99,000. You'll get this nice little reminder text every, every, um, every week just before it starts, about an hour before it starts. So we hope that you'll take the opportunity to just do that right now on your phone so that you'll be equipped and ready for the next time that we, um, that we meet. And speaking of next time, we're going to meet next week and we're going to have the most amazing presentation on creating optimal well-being by Dawn Fisher. And we're so excited. She is one of my most favorite humans. And I'm so excited to hear from her next week. That will be a treat. At Optavia, our mission is to offer the world lifelong transformation, one healthy habit at a time. The prior audio contained the personal testimonials of independent coaches and clients within the Optavia community. Their results are based on the unique experiences of their journey. We cannot guarantee like or similar outcomes. We hope those stories inspire you to continue your journey with or to consider joining Optavia. But please note that they have not been verified and your individual journey to optimal health will vary. As always, it is our recommendation that you speak with a healthcare provider in the U.S. or a doctor in Singapore and Hong Kong prior to beginning your journey with Optavia. Additionally, this audio may have contained income or earning representations of some independent Optavia coaches. We cannot guarantee financial success. Success with Optavia is derived from successful sales efforts, which require hard work, diligence, skill, persistence, competence, and leadership. Optavia acknowledges that this audio may be accessible to Optavia coaches in the US, Hong Kong, and Singapore. For independent Optavia coaches operating in the US, please see the Optavia Income Disclosure Statement for statistics on actual earnings of US coaches under the U.S. Compensation Plan. Please note that the income disclosure statement only applies to independent Optavia coaches operating in the U.S. under the U.S. Compensation Plan and does not in any way constitute any representations as to actual or potential approval of benefits for Hong Kong or Singapore coaches under the International Compensation Plan. Yours in health, the Optavia team.